Some of the things that are coming to California is legislation that may have already been signed that says that the state of California will not do business with anybody who's ever done business with the National Rifle Association. Uh, so I, I would be disqualified from being hired for a job uh, at uh, uh, California College as a teacher, let's say. Um, and, and then things like this vote harvesting and, and you know, all the rest of it. Uh, I don't know if it's up yet. Um, uh, it's Bill Whittle now that we shot yesterday. I don't know if it's public yet or not. We shot two uh, yesterday. The two, I think the two best we ever did. One of them was about um, this um, African uh, person who claims that, um, that he's a woman, beat the women in a 100-yard dash or whatever it was, Maybe it was a 400 yard, but he beat them by two seconds. And usually the margin of victory is a tenth of a second. Um, he claims uh, that um, he has internal male organs that, um, that uh, provide him with uh, testosterone, and he wants to know why he can't be allowed to run the way God created him and so on. Uh, there's a lot to unpack there, and it's a really good episode, but what I basically said was, um, you know, what, what Scott told me the, the world is heading to, and I believe this, we are the solution to this problem, okay? So you got this guy who, who sure looks like a man and certainly runs like a man, claims he's a woman, beating the living snot like a woman, uh, just beating them by two seconds. And when he's questioned about this, he says that he has um, internal male organs that provide the testosterone, but to um, ask to, to examine these through ultrasound or uh, MRI, he says, uh, no, um, that's an invasion of my privacy. Um, so um, he, here's what is basically happening. The ruling, I think I, I read that the ruling was denied, but what, what they were discussing, and we will get there, believe me, if it hasn't already happened, what they were discussing was they were discussing that for women's sports there would be a maximum testosterone limit and that if this guy was in fact dealing with that, then he would have to take testosterone supplements to get his testosterone levels down below a certain level, which would be the level that biological casters... <laughs> Yeah, Semenya of all names. Uh, uh, so basically, here's a guy who says, um, I'm a woman. I have this mystic, mystical uh, medical condition. You don't get to examine me, and the solution is to let me run because it's not fair if you don't. This is how I was born. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair that I... Had 20, 25 vision in my left eye, I didn't get to be a fighter pilot. It's not fair that people who want to play NBA basketball with all their heart are five foot eight. It's not fair that a guy who wants to be a jockey weighs, is, is six foot and weighs 200 pounds buffed. It's not fair. None of it's fair. And what they want and what the progressives are doing is they are going to ruin athletics for half of the population because they have to. They're stuck. They're stuck. This is why we're going to see and already seeing uh, progressivism just fall apart because it eats itself. So here's, here's why they're stuck. If you're a progressive, you do a lot of howling about how uh, young girls don't get um, enough uh, supplies, enough attention. So you have this whole Title IX thing. So they're big supporters of women's athletics, but they're even bigger supporters of trans because uh, transgender people are perceived to be even bigger victims than women are. And since all of this is about assuming that the, that the person who is the underdog is morally correct, which means factually correct, which means in a position to be uh, making the decisions, and if not, then racism, sexism, transism, all the rest of it. So the left has to agree with this guy, Castor, because he's a larger victim. And now, now they're in a bit of a pickle. Because now, if you're a lefty, you have to accept the fact that he says he's a woman, he identifies as a woman, that means he's a woman, 
So therefore, he's going to run in the women's competition, and he's going to beat every woman by two seconds, let's say, in the 100-yard dash. So now what you've done as a progressive is you've taken every single female athlete in the world, every one of them, and said, prepare to take one step down on the podium. If you, if you thought you were going to come in first, if you, if you had come in first before, now you're going to come in second. If you thought you might make the top three, you're not. Everybody's going to take one step down on the podium as long as this um, uh, Castor Semania is, is, is running the race. All of you, all of you have to take a step down for one person because this one person uh, feels that it's not fair, and so an entire political movement that has taken over most of the West has decided that we're going to make every single female athlete on the planet take a step down because they don't want to hurt the feelings of one person who has reached a very high level of victimhood. So Scott's doing his job of asking the follow-up questions, and he's so good at it, and, and and he said, so basically, um, what they're proposing is to have a test where they will, they'll, where they will um, measure the testosterone. And I just said, stop, stop, stop right there. Just stop right there. Stop. We're not going to have a test that measures testosterone. We're not going to have a, a group of people walking down the starting line in white lab coats, taking blood samples, deciding how much of a testosterone suppressant drug needs to be administered in order to make up the handicap. They're talking about handicapping guys. If your testosterone level is uh, higher than, it, than, than other women, then we'll take some time off your, um, or add some time to your rent, whatever. So he's saying this, they're gonna try and do the test on, um, for testosterone, I said, stop, stop, just cut it out, stop. There's one test that we have to do, one. And, and, and you can take a, a sample of blood, hair, saliva, fingernails, it doesn't matter. Go and take a fingernail clipping from everybody on that starting line, and if anybody there does not have two X chromosomes, they're disqualified, period. See how easy it is? Nothing to it. You don't have to do anything else. You could just leave it alone. Is this a biological woman, yes or no? It's got nothing to do with gender. It's got nothing to do with sexual preference. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, apparently Scott um, uh, Adams disagrees on this. I'd love to talk to him about it. Uh, so, so why are we discussing the testosterone levels of, of individuals in a race? So, so Scott said, oh, so, are you, so, so you're saying, well, that's not fair. He said, you know, if a, if, a, if a woman was eight foot, she'd dominate all of the female athletics. I said, yes, exactly. Precisely right. Precisely correct. If, if, if a woman, an actual woman with two X chromosomes was born and she was eight foot tall and wanted to play basketball, not only would I be in favor of that, I'd be in favor of her playing in the NBA if she can beat the men. He, she is a biological woman p playing a sport for biological women, and she has appropriate testosterone levels for an actual biological woman. And if she's eight foot tall and if she's able to beat everybody, that's awesome. That's just really cool, um, really cool. Um, but that's not what we're talking about. And as people have been saying in the comments section now for the last five minutes, this has to, all of the women athletes in the world have to take one step down per caster, per person. So if you can find another person whose feelings are hurt because he feels like she's a, that, that he's a woman and should be allowed to, woman, to run in the women's category, now, all of you female athletes, half of the planet, you can take two steps down. And pretty soon, there'll be more and more of these low lives. Uh, you can't even talk about things like honor or integrity and say the morality, forget it. If you're going to make that argument, that's just, just barking at the wind. Um, so, so what it means is, if you're a woman athlete and you train your entire life and you, and you, and you go to the, to the phenomenal effort that it takes to be a, a top-level athlete, um, you will come in either, you would have come in first, but now you will come in behind however many men claiming to be women are in the race. So if there's three trans runners in the race, you're not going to make the podium, even though you're the fastest woman 
not only on that field, maybe on the planet. Too bad for you. And people saying, well, he's taking, you know, the, well, you could take suppressive, uh, you know, um, hormone suppressions. Look, by the way, I got a picture. In fact, I'm going to get a picture. I'll show you real quick. But my point is, even even if you were somehow able to get this person at, at whatever age he's he's at now, let's say 20 for the sake of the argument, even if you were able to take uh, all this estrogen therapy and suppress their uh, testosterone completely so that their muscles and everything else, and they start... All, it, it doesn't matter because they grew up with, um, as a male, they grew up with testosterone, which means that the bio, biomechanical advantage of their skeleton, just, just the advantage of their skeleton, the mechanical advantage of the male skeleton, primarily in the hips, obviously, because any decent, uh, virtually any medical student can look at a, at a, a human pelvis and tell whether it's a male or female, and, and the ability to have children affects the way that you run, and it turns out makes you a little slower. Um, and that makes sense, uh, because nature can afford to uh, lose males. Um, so this is the world, this is the world that we're heading into, and, and not heading into, this is the world that we're in. And, and the more of this that happens, the better it is for everybody, not just for conservatives, the better it is for everybody. The more of this nonsense, the better. So I wanna see people that call themselves progressives and Democrats. I want to see them going to a track meet where their daughters have been practicing for six or seven years and watch them not make uh, the podium because there were three males there who felt like women uh, and didn't want their feelings hurt. And by the way, in this, uh, look, Transgenderism and stuff and, and all of that, that, that's a real thing. And I'm not, I'm not, I consider it to be, um, you know, I don't consider it to be mental. Uh, I think it's extremely mentally unhealthy. And I'm not dancing around it because I'm worried about the PC police. I'm dancing around it because psychological issues are complicated. But I personally don't think that this guy, Castor, is, is telling the truth. I think he just wants to win and is not good enough to win otherwise, I'm getting a lot of attention. Let me show you a picture of, uh, of this woman who is gonna, uh, who wants to run in the Olympics races here as a woman. You'll, you'll like this. Um, you know, and this, and this is it too, because this kind of thing, when I first heard the story, I thought, um, okay, you know, this is going to get some out. I'm just going to just throw them up there on the screen like we did before. Um, come on. All right, I'm going to have to just do screen grabs. Hang on a second. I'll just do a couple. This will get the point across. Just give me one moment. Uh, it's insanity. It's just plain raw insanity. Okay, so um, this this one picture will do the will do the whole thing. So I'll just save that. There it is. And you go over here, and here she is. Uh, she's a, a a delicate little flower. Um, hang on. Come on, baby. <sighs> hang on a second. It's worth the wait, believe me. Um, and media source. And, okay. And desktop. Uh, okay, that's not a media source. You want an image? Fine. Sorry, it's worth it. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm not so much... Um, uh, continuing with the worst produced show on the internet, so much as I'm adding unexpected visual aids. Uh, let's try this. Come on, to baby. Uh, browse desktop. Yeah, that that'll do. All right, here you go. There she is. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
the fastest woman alive. See, this is why progressivism is going to collapse. This is the person who claims to be um, a woman. And, uh, oh, there's a better picture. Hang on. I got to find it. It's worth the, it's worth it. Uh, yeah. Hang on. That's not quite right. Can this be real? I'm not 100% sure that this is a, a real photograph, but it, the times are close enough for it to be uh, believable. It might be photoshopped. I'm not saying it is. Uh, take a look at this. Oh, come on. This will blow your mind. Come on, baby. Come on, you bastard. Mojave's doing some nonsense with these images that it wasn't doing before, and I just hate it. Hate it. Where did it Where did you go, you? Uh huh. Okay. All right. We'll play like that. That's how we'll play that. Fine, I'll do it again. Sorry, hang on. Worth the wait. Oh, there it is, okay. Here you go. Let's add another one, shall we? Oh, for the love of God, what's going on here? Here you go. Uh, this is the future. Um, that the progressives are giving to the young women of America and the young women of the world. Uh, nope. Nope. Yep. Here it is. Okay. So you can see um, just how fast she really is. Uh, here's what uh, the future of athletics looks like, uh, progressives. This is, this is your future, and they're stuck. They're trapped. They cannot get out of this. They cannot say um, that this can't happen. This is why they're going to collapse, and this is why it has to go down. This is the future of every single woman's athletic event where this is allowed to continue. And if more than one of these guys get in there, sooner or later, you're not going to have any actual women there at all. And they're stuck with it. You want to know why they're stuck with it? I'll tell you why they're being stuck with it. They are stuck with it because they are required to be stuck with it, and not by the virtue signaling. They're, they're required to be stuck by it for a much more important reason. And the reason is this. If that person is not allowed to run as a woman, if, if the left says, okay, no, 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 there are limits now, there are limits. Um, so, no, uh, you're not allowed to compete with women. Then they have invalidated their entire political um, message because their entire political message is there is no external truth and all of it comes down to what do you actually believe? What That, that belief makes it so. It's a, it's a philosophy of wishful thinking. In other words... She has to be allowed to run because she says she's a woman. And by saying she's a woman, that makes her a woman. Likewise, saying that uh, Republicans are racist makes them racist. You don't have to pr provide any evidence. Likewise, saying that free health care should be provided to everybody makes health care free. And to admit that there is an external world with, um, with standards that are ir irreducible is the end of progressivism. Um, it, they, it, it, can't, it can't survive. It's not even a question of feeling. It's not even a question of emotions. This is the intellectual trap that they're in. They believe 
that if you want something badly enough, to not have it is not fair. To not have it is not fair. Not fair means somebody's taking it from you, which means patriarchy or racism or whatever. And all of this just simply goes away. Um, so they have to. They have to. This, this person has to run the race. They, they have got, they've got no way out of it. Because if they say no, then everything else falls down. Um, all of the identity issues fall down. All, all of the, all of the pa pandering to the emotional childishness of this generation um, is over. And it's going to continue to get more and more ridiculous. And I say, bring it on. Faster the better. How many... Um, how many liberal parents, because we've seen this already, we were talking about it a year ago or more, more than that, um, maybe even back during the trifecta days, where you would hear interviews with the parents of the actual women who had their clocks cleaned by uh, this guy or, or some other, uh, genuinely now, not a person who's undergone uh, the, the transitional surgery, just literally a male athlete who said, I feel like a woman, so therefore I should be able to run in the race. And you watch him. And you can see them interviewed, and um, and you can see these girls saying, well, well, how do you feel about that? And they're going, uh, well, you know, I guess it's really important that, you know, um, you know, that, that, uh, that everybody has a chance to, 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 you know, compete the way they want to, and I'm, I'm very happy for her. And you can tell they don't believe it. They just know they're supposed to be saying it. And yes, I know about the name. I said the name when I mentioned it. When I mentioned it, it's a giant laughing ridiculous joke. It's a clown world. It's exactly right. Uh, and not 47 yet. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a goat rodeo. It, it's, it's, it's absurd. It's past absurd. Progressivism requires not just for you to believe things that aren't true, but you have to believe the anti-truth. It's required of you to believe the anti-truth. You cannot be a progressive today. I'm serious about this. You cannot be a progressive today and be opposed to post-birth abortions. You have to support that. And if you don't, then you're against a woman's right to choose, which is, means you're not a progressive. You have to be willing now to be a progressive to say that, yes, a mother should have the right to, uh, to abort a baby after it's been born. I, I, I changed my mind. It's lying there. It's mine, my decision, my choice. Goodbye. They have to. It, this is the dead end. This is, why, this is why the entire philosophy of leftism always collapses, because it, it, is, a, it is so far away from reality that it can't survive. And, and look, it's a product. It's a product of prosperity. You know why there's so many American socialists? Because they all live in capitalism. That's why. That's why there are so many socialists. And there are going to be more and more and more socialists in this country as long as capitalism continues. Capitalism breeds socialists because capitalism is successful enough to allow people to be that stupid. Capitalism breeds socialists, not because there's a need for them. There's no social. This isn't, this isn't the days of people working in, um, in uh, you know, uh, in textile mills, like my ancestors did, my, and when I say my ancestors, I mean my great 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 grandfather, that kind of thing. No, this it, it's just plain insane, and and so what you have is a bunch of people who have decided that they want things that they don't want to work for, and this is how they get it. They get. They get the things that they want by convincing the people that do the things that, that actually need to be done, by appealing to their sense of decency and, and, and um, sympathy and uh, all of that, and just natural um, uh, you know, consideration and commiseration with, with people who appear to be in trouble. They're, they, they're basically making themselves into victims so that people will give them stuff. Um, 